many middle-class Americans, part-time work has replaced full-time jobs, and that can mean erratic, unpredictable schedules. Some in Congress are pushing for legislation to protect part-time workers. Carrie Gleason is the co-founder of the Retail Action Project, and welcome, Carrie. It's good to see you. Thank you for having so, me. So why do part-time workers need protection? Well, um, increasingly, the, the growth industries are in sectors that employ large part-time workforces, restaurants, healthcare, retail. Um, and what's happening in these industries is that employers are looking to cut costs by skimming workers' hours um, and pushing what they can't predict onto workers. What else? What are some of the other common practices? What's the impact on these workers? So what's increasingly happening is that employers are expecting workers to be available 24-7 and that means that workers are waiting by the phone um, where they're required to call in two hours before for these on-call shifts with absolutely no guarantees of work and so in sectors like retail that employ one in nine Americans in this country you have this massive unproductive workforce um, that is unable to go to school get a second job um, and get ahead so actually some employers can send people home from work in the middle of the day and, and not pay them for the rest of the time they were scheduled to work, is that right? Yeah, and you know, in, in industries like catering and restaurants, you know, where workers have to come in with pressed uniforms um, and an employer decides, well, oh, I, I accidentally scheduled too many people, someone can travel, cover childcare, report to work, um, and the employer can say, well, we don't need you today, and then they have to get sent home without any pay. So, so you would say this is a result of the recession, yes, in part, or not? No, I think it has nothing been to do with the recession. Yeah, I think that these trends have been going on for a long time. I think they're ex exacerbated by the fact that the service sector is growing since the recession. So um, you, I can probably hear people, some people in the audience saying, look, they've got a job, you know, this is, the times are tough, mm -hmm. you know, they're earning a living, they're making, they're getting work. This is what happens when you have part-time work. What do you say to that? I mean... The truth is, is that people don't have work. These, these types of unpredictable scheduling practices actually fuel unemployment. Because your schedule is so unpredictable, workers aren't able to hold on to the work. And so the companies engage in these practices where they just hire cyclically. You know, every three months, it's a whole new workforce. And that means that workers aren't able to increase their earning potential and move up the career ladder. And so these trends are actually increasing inequality. But shouldn't employers have the flexibility to be able to schedule people whenever they want them? I mean, I think that there needs to be certain guidelines, right? We all deserve to be able to have some notice of how much and when we're working so we can take care of our families, so that we can go to school, right? I mean, all of the things that people say that you need to do to become, to join the middle class, it's not possible for a huge, a, a large number of workers. So what about this legislation in Congress and what uh, would it do? Well, it's really, it's exciting. It's breakthrough legislation that's promoting new fundamental standards on the hours that we work. Um, Representative George Miller on the, on the House side and, and Elizabeth Warren on the Senate side are introducing these bills. Um, and these, this legislation would give workers predictable schedules, input into their schedules, um, and some baseline protections when, when there's unpredictability. Given the gridlock in Washington, do you really think that this is legislation? legislation that has a chance to pass? Well, what's so exciting about this federal legislation is that there's actually this growing movement for a fair work week across cities and states around the country. Um, next week, there's going to be a breakthrough bill pass, um, introduced in San Francisco that would expand uh, protections for part-time workers. And so what this federal bill does is legitimize a whole host of new policy solutions that we can pass in our cities and states. Carrie Gleason, good to see you. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me.